Well, hello guys, welcome back. What we are looking at is a Maneki Kitsune. Um, mine came in, but I'm really tired right now, so I did not want to drag mine down for a photo shoot and possibly break it. Um, this one has already paid off because I figured out a couple things. One, Anori let me get knocked by the car, so I would not spend any more money eating out this month. And two, um... I was having some trouble, some, you know, some faith issues, and I was talking to them, and I've been, like, kind of, like, not sleeping, and then, like, sleeping in strange patterns, and I know it's from worry, and the first thing I saw when I went to check my email was a story of a woman who thought she had a dog, and it turned out to be a white fox, and the white fox, among other colors, is one of Inari symbols, but it was too spot on, that was her response. And a song she likes to have me play over and over and over again <laughs> popped up in my feed. I'm like, okay, mommy, I get you. Um, it's We Are Magic by Liv Olivia Newton-John, in case you want to look it up. Um, yeah, so Mother Fox definitely answered me because I was, I was having some faith issues because um, I'm still wrestling with that Fox Village thing. I'm like, you know, um, I understand in ancient times maybe we offered animals and did certain things with animals but you know we're living in modern times so that wasn't sitting well with me and she you know she gave me the answer that works for me which may not work for you so it, it was really good and she's you know she's gone out of her way to show me she, not only is she here but she's answering me and um it's been really good and i share this stuff with you guys on inari because it's really hard to find something that isn't written by people that think um, Shinto is quaint and silly, or they come off as a bit pendactic, or, you know, um, maybe if you were, like, totally new to her, like I am. I mean, she said she's been here, and that's complicated, but, um, you know, it might kind of restrict how you're growing because some people get um we americans especially have a tendency to need roles and lists and you have to tell us what color this what color that everything 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 and inari's gone out of her way to show me no i like this i like this and i like this and i'm having these things and you can't um you know say no because this is what I want so yeah she has her um if you wanted to call it a kami donna a god shelf you could say that she has that this statue up on there now with the tiny inari the tiny inari tiny kitsune in the fortune slip she has a water fountain she picked out for herself she has a lamp and she has the three fox statues she really liked. And that's what she wanted. That's what she wanted. And um, La Santa donated her cloth so it looks real pretty. And we're, we're settling into each other. She's teaching me that I don't have to be so Japanesey, as she puts it. <laughs> um, I don't have to worry about like stuff that keeps me up at night because I'm a Gemini. Like, do I have to move to Japan now? Do I have to learn Japanese all over again? Because these movies really aren't kicking anything up. And she's like, no, no, it's okay. I understand you perfectly fine. Or didn't you notice? And what the fox is actually doing to talk about the little statue, why I was so excited to find this, it's usually Maneki Nickel. And the fox is not waving at you because that's our gesture in America and a lot of other places to wave goodbye or hello. Um, usually it's bye-bye. That is come here in Japanese gestures. It's come here. And she is calling good fortune. She's saying not only is she saying to you this way to good fortune, she is saying good fortune, come here. Look at this fancy coin I have. This says something like, I think like a hundred thousand million, some kind of crazy number of gold pieces. May you have this many huge gold pieces. So she's wishing, wishing you tons of good fortune because it's like a huge number. I forget what it is. I had to look it up. I can't remember anything at all. And um, they have various stories that about the Mineke Neko, the cat. And the interesting thing is I've never heard the one that I read years and years ago again. So I'll share it with you. Um, 
years ago, you know, many hundreds, maybe thousands of years ago, whatever you want to set it up, in Japan, there was a um, young priest, some versions have young noble, traveling, and he was going to take shelter in a um, abandoned shrine because, you know, he was so poor he couldn't afford to stay anywhere. And he saw this little cat beckoning him. And the little cat's beckoning him. And he was, that's really curious. Cats don't beckon people. So he went over to see what the cat wanted. And the shrine collapsed. And the cat had saved him from dying. So ever after that, out of gratitude, the little Maneke Neko was beckoning people into places for good luck. Now that is a story I heard. There's other versions I've read today about there was a very old person who had to give up their cat and the cat came to her in a dream and said make a statue of me and sell that statue and somehow the statue sold for a lot of money or you know any version of the story you heard probably works but I have never seen a Maneke Kitsune before so that is why I wanted this one I was like wow that is really really neat and that gives her her two white foxes and she's quite content it's not like um She's not so exact as we Americans would like to be. We Americans are very rigid, actually. We like to think we're individualists and th free thinkers. But if we can't have a book of rules or a holy book, and they don't have either in Shinto, um, we kind of go a little crazy out of our minds. So we look for other people to tell us what to do. And that will lead you down the primrose path to trouble with Inari, because Inari will tell you what to do. So I hope this helped, guys. Um, Again, just sharing because I know like a lot of the Inari information out there, either people are explaining them away as a way to explain things, like the change of the season or whatever, or they're really pendactic and you must do it this way, or they feel their view is the only right way to view Inari, and I, you know, I feel there's no right, there's no wrong, there's just what works for you. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. I will have the link below so you guys can go take a look at the little fixie fox. I got the one at the cheapest price. I got her right before my Prime uh, membership expired. So she was like the last thing I got. So if you guys like what you see, again, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.